Oh, y'all, it's your boy Perplex84 back at it again representing some Reaper Cortex reviews. Listen, we got a creepy source that just came up there, came down the pipes. They were talking about the NX release date. Listen, they're talking that the system is not going to be coming out in March. But instead, Nintendo is going to surprise us and release that machine in January. January 2017. And it's supposed to take place immediately or shortly after the release of that conference they're going to have. You know, that presentation Nintendo is supposed to have when they're talking about all the specs and everything about the Nintendo NX or the Nintendo Switch, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about. Listen, I pray that this happens, you know. It's tax season. People are going to have some money. The PS4, the PS4 Pro is going to be coming out, you know, uh, this month. <sighs> Nintendo need to get the ball rolling. You know, Microsoft is talking about coming out with that Scorpio pretty soon as well. I hope this source is amazingly true. I hope it has a lot of steam behind it, a lot of gas under the hood, you know, because, hey, the earlier the better, baby. I'm ready for it. But tell me what you guys think about that, man. But, like, yeah, I heard this source yesterday. I wanted to get with you guys yesterday, but I got tied up doing some other things. Also, PlayStation View owners, PlayStation View subscribers, they're going to be losing all Viacom channels. So you're going to lose all your... This is crazy. You're going to lose all your MTV. You're going to lose all your BT and everything that goes with it. Uh, and a couple of other channels. I can't think right off the top. All the Viacom channels. But, 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 they're going to be adding BBC Network. Also, NBA TV. That is crazy. What do you guys think about that? NBA TV? I don't think... I didn't think anybody but the cable subscribers, as far as, you know, the big companies, the big three, was going to be able to produce that kind of stuff. But now the streaming services are getting big stuff like that. Big ups to Sony on that big contract that they just signed, man. So, so I'll take it, man. I'd rather, you know, I wish they could keep the Viacom channels, but hey, it is what it is. It's constant growth, man, right now. It's a battle for who can have, who has the most meat. Anyway, it's your boy, Perplex84. If you're new to this content, hit that subscribe. Show me some love, y'all. I'm out.